easy going world welcome back to nomadius the name i chose is thaddeus you know family our reflections our reflections can be seen through people and maybe it's about our interpretation of what is seen in the mirror instead of what you're actually seeing. Let me break this down for you, right? So you see, mirrors are reflections of ourselves, right? We see reflections of ourselves in mirrors. We are able to also reflect when looking at a mirror. But the problem with mirrors, <laughs> well, hold on, well, what is the problem with mirrors, right? Is it what we see or rather what our interpretation of what is being seen? It can be both, right? It can be both. What we see in the mirror can evoke emotions that can bother us or please us. Yet the true reflection lies in how we feel about what we see in the mirror. Have you ever heard anybody say people are mirrors? Maybe you have, maybe this is your first time. And if it is, well, let me tell you, people are mirrors. People are mirrors to people. from what we can talk about, from what we can experience. We're unsure about how animals perceive us as cats, our dogs, our birds. You see, the reason that people are mirrors to people is because it's a part of our human nature. When we see other people, we form thoughts about how they look, what they do, who they are, where they are from, why they are where they are, meaning like why they are where we're seeing them where they are. But what's most crucial is what rises from above all of this. Why did we form these thoughts when we saw this person and how did we feel about this? Is my interpretation healthy or unhealthy? Valid, invalid? Wrong or right? You see family, in the same manner that we're unable to see people in our mirror because they block it from either sunglasses or a lack of showing emotion or these barriers that people put up that block this human connection that we receive information and we share information from, as I'm looking you right now, deeply in your eyes. With these blocks, we are unable to see in the same manner, in the same manner that we are unable to see in our mirror, the person who is also seeing their reflection through us is unable to see truly through their mirror. Their distorted mirror is what they are also looking through with their barriers up. Because the glasses or the barriers block out the aspect of human connection. Therefore, the reflections are blurred. And what does this mean? What does this, what does this mean for us? We're in a really critical time right now where human connection, human understanding, empathy for humans, compassion for humans, and true inner sight, clairvoyance and clairaudience as to who we are and who we are interacting with is so blurred 
there's so much distraction and filters that we either choose to put on or are put on upon us that is causing a lot of the chaos we are experiencing today. So I come to you to ask that you reflect on how you choose to be presented in certain spaces and how you choose to be observed. We can only control, we can only control what people observe about us. Keep shining. Keep reflecting. And keep going deep, family. Much love and respect to you. Maddie's, we'll see you soon.